Hello there and good afternoon to you. This is Coach Kemi, CEO and founder of How to Think Global Consulting Empire. Did you know that we only use 2 to 8% of our brain capacity to think? Did you know we use only 2 to 8% of our brain capacity to think? Can you imagine if we use 10 more, 10% or we used up to 50% what we would do in this world. Well, that's where I was as a thought transformation coach and expert. What I help people to do is to help them to think right so that they can have optimum productivity and performance and live epic lives. I was stuck in that place where I did not even know what percentage of my brain I used. I just thought I used my brain, you know, and I was intelligent enough like everyone else around me. Let me tell you this, comparing yourself with people around you is the, it's your downfall. If they're doing it and you're doing it, you're already failing. If they are talking it and you're talking it, you are in failure zone because you are more than the limitation that's around you. Everyone is limited to what they think. And if they are limited thinkers, you join the bandwagon of limited thinkers. That's where I was. I was shackled with not knowing how to think right. I was shackled by my wrists, by my ankles. I would want to go forward, but I'll think, oh, I really shouldn't go forward. Hi, Dion. I really shouldn't go forward. Everybody else isn't going forward. Oh, it's never happened this way before. Oh, gosh, it will, it will not work. I thought myself into almost oblivion, but I did think myself into prison. I was stuck until I had this epiphany that if I, if I did not take control of my own thoughts, I'm in deep doo-doo. It was not going to work. Nothing was going to work. And this is how I've been helping my clients. One of them sent me a message today. She was in the How to Think Thinking School. She had just published her book. And when she came to me, she said she wants to write a book, but she couldn't. And I said, what's stopping you? What do you want to write about? Long and short of it, within three months, she had written her book. Some people say, oh, it takes you a year. You see, this is right thinking produces right results. And thoughts come before anything else. Thoughts come before results. If you have not got the results in your thoughts, you, you cannot get the results in your doing. So today, I want us to, you know, following the, the way I'm going to be looking at my notes. So if I look down, that's what I'm looking at. Um, looking at our theme, how to take back your thoughts so you are in control. That's our weekly theme, our, our theme for this week. Our top book, topic today is a SWOT analysis is really a thought analysis. And so you know what SWOT stands for? It stands for strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. And SWOT analysis is done a lot in the corporate space. Get your SWOT analysis done, know what your strengths are, where your weaknesses are, what your opportunities are, and what your threats are. Well, let me put it to you that a SWOT analysis really is a thought analysis. Let me explain what I mean by telling you a few things. Your strengths, S for strengths in SWOT, exist for real, but are usually limited by your thoughts. We are stronger than we are. We are stronger than we think we are. We are stronger than we behave. W for weaknesses. Your weaknesses are not weaknesses, but thinking, thinking. Oh, you know, I'm not really good at this. I'm not really great at this. Oh, you know, I'm not able to do this. I'm not able to do that. I've got a guest, so bear with me. Come here, little girl. Come here. Come here. That's my granddaughter. Um, so if you're thinking that you are weak in that area, I'm not saying we're all strong in everything, but our thoughts can make us even weaker than we are. And really, it's your thoughts that have defined what you do as weakness. Look at the O in SWOT. 
It stands for opportunities. I'm just inviting someone into the live now. You get to meet her. There you go. Your opportunities surround you, but your thoughts are blinding you to them. There are, you've heard it. Opportunities come knocking every day, every minute. Do you see them? Opportunities show up on your laptop. They show up when your friend says hello. Opportunities show up when you have to take care of your grandchild and it wasn't planned. Opportunities, opportunities show up when your boss says something to you and you're thinking, oh, that's just too much. That's your limited stinking thinking. And T for threats. Your threats are actually devoid of strength to threaten you, but your thoughts give them power. That's why you call them threats. Why should they be high, Nelson? Thanks for joining me. Why should there be threats in your life? So you, SWOT analysis really is a thought analysis. It's how you think. Your strengths are much more than you have. Your weaknesses are actually useful for you. Why would God create you? You have weaknesses and then it's again, it works against you. It's not true. Your opportunities are myriad in number. A myriad in number. But your thoughts put them into a little box and say, oh, this is all I can do. And your threats are actually not threats, are they? Because you give them power with your thoughts and you call them threats. So what you need to do is to take back control of your own thoughts. You are in control. We have looked at the word responsible. And to be responsible is to have control and authority and a duty of care. To be responsible means to be answerable. You are answerable for your behavior. You are answerable for where you are today. Take authority over you. Take control over you. Have a duty of care towards you. Because until you do that, you can't have a duty of care towards anyone else. You can't have true authority over anyone. In fact, your integrity is compromised because you are not integritous towards yourself. So if you like what I've shared with you so far, I would and you would like to have mastery over your thoughts, you'd like to have mastery over your emotions, I have a half day VIP day I'd like to share with you. Discover how you can control your emotions without becoming cold or being cold. It's only three and a half hours with me. It holds on Wednesdays. We'll come together and agree on a time that's best suited for you. It's going to happen virtually. That's online. So you can join me from anywhere in the world. Now, let me tell you who it is for. It's for you if you are female in the corporate space. You know you qualify for a senior position, a more senior position. You have been in your current position for at least two years and you want to move on. You want more. Um, you aspire for a more senior position. You are a senior manager and above. Then you need to be listening longer to what I'm saying till I get to the end. So like, uh, let me share with you what we are going to cover in that three and a half hours. We'll talk, we we'll hop on the phone first of all, before we actually get together for 45 minutes and we will look at where you are emotionally, where you need to be emotionally, where you say you want to go and what the gap is. And then I will create a shadow that will cover all that for when we actually come together to meet online. The first hour, I'll be sharing the step-by-step ready formula with you. I will take you step by step and sharing the ready formula for promotion with you. This number one helps you to know to be ready for what we are doing already. Uh, get ready for the promotion and to actually determine whether you know you are ready. Are you actually ready? Because I found many of my clients are not ready for what it takes to think. They just feel, you know, it will happen. No, you've got to be ready to do what it takes. The next hour after that, you will learn the connection between your RQ and your ERQ. That's your relationship quotient and your emotional resilience quotient. You see, your ability to control your emotions will determine the kind of relationships you have, the kind of relationships you build, and whether you win in your relationships. And so this will really help you to position yourself for your relationships and you and your organization to win. Next, we shall role play in the next hour. 
The next, I'm clicking just to get my granddaughter, she's only 14 months, to come back. We'll do some role play and some homework. In the role play, the role play will help us to uncover anything you have not mentioned that might be a roadblock in terms of your emotions and we will deal with it there and then. And in the last 45 minutes, this will be our wrap up time where we'll do some Q and A, we will summarize what we've done and I'll answer more questions. You will also be going away with the Think Fast, Think Strong template. Now, if this sounds like what you are after, it is only a 997 pound investment for three and a half hours with me online now if you're interested there's a link that i'll put in the comments above within the comments and in the title above click on it and that will take you to an application form because it's an it's a, an application form process we'll have a conversation to see if this actually is what you're looking for and if i can actually serve you serve you so let me remind you who this is for again if you're female if you're at least a senior manager director president vice president whatever it is uh, and you are a thinker. You need to be a thinker. You are also audacious. You're a woman who wants more responsibility and you are ready for it and you want more authority and you're ready for it. You're a woman who can move mountains and you move mountains regularly. If you don't move mountains regularly within your organization, you want to be that woman. Well, you want to work with me. It's only three and a half hours. This holds on Wednesdays alone. And we'll look for a time that's suitable for both of us. So wherever you are in the world, whatever your time zone, you can join me. So if this is what you are after, please go ahead, click that link, fill out the application form, send it right back to me, clicking submit. I will conference with Remember, your a SWOT analysis is really an analysis of your thoughts. We will be doing that in the Half Day VIP Day. Stay strong. This is Coach Kemi, CEO and founder of How to Think Global Consulting Empire. Thank you.